everybody doing? Yeah. Alright, that's a lie. I'm not a uh, comic. It's just um, easier to check out the men from up here. Sign you know? <laughs> <laughs> up for the open mic. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so <clears throat> 2010, believe it or not, is supposed to be the year of the tiger. I don't think so. <laughs> not 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 for poor tiger anyway. Um, I don't know, you know, why he would mess up such a good thing. You know, he lost all his endorsements, everyone's like, oh, dude, sorry, man, bye. Um, and now all he's really going to be able to endorse is douche and malt liquor and maybe menthol cigarettes. You know, so I was thinking, like, you know, what could his, uh, you know, um, jingle be for the malt liquor, you know, and, you know, just come up to the screen and say, hey, when your career has been taken down because you've been fucking around, drink malt liquor. <laughs> You know, I, I don't know why he would mess up such a uh, good, you know, relationship with his <laughs> wife. Well, I'm, I'm going to assume it was okay in the beginning. Uh, you know, it's, it's hard, you know, it's hard to be single, you know. Uh, I'm not single right now, but um, I was single for a long time, almost like eight years. You know, it's a long time, and I didn't really mind until Beyonce came in with that song. She's like, all the single ladies, all the single ladies, all the single ladies, all the single ladies, all the single bitch stop reminding me, you know. It's not, you know, being single is nothing to dance and sing about. It just means you're not having sex and you're alone every night, you know. There's nothing to sing and dance about there. Um, and, you know, being single is really hard. You want a lot of dates, you know. You know, maybe you get lucky. You know, it's hard. Um, but one of my main fears is really not about, like, STDs. My real nightmare about dating is little dicks. You know? And, <laughs> sorry, no, I, have to, I have to be honest. So that's my big nightmare. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to get. You know? It's really, you know, <laughs> you can't really check beforehand, you know, <laughs> do that. There's only one way that relationship's going. And, um, you know, I don't really mind uh, little dicks for their size. I just don't like the sound they make when they're fucking you. Because it's like... <laughs> Whether I'm supposed to be falling in love or putting down glue trap, you know? <laughs> Ladies, if you get an infestation of little dicks in your apartment, I suggest to catch release traps. They're more humane. Um, <laughs> now, I know it's, you know, it's hard for, you know, it's hard for women to, um, you know, to get dates, you know? I think men have it better. They can go home and watch um, pornography. You know, men go home and, and masturbate. They're they're perfect. You know, fried chicken pornography. They're done. You know, they don't they don't need anything else. Um, you know, so in an attempt to understand men more, I started watching pornography. Yeah, you know, sat down, got on the internet, got some fried chicken, some Vaseline. I really don't know what that's for. You know, and then Kleenex. I don't know. Should I be crying? Is this a drama? You know, what's going on in this movie? And um, the first thing that I noticed about um, porn is that sex has gotten completely weird. You know, so now I make sure I get like regular updates like RSS feeds on the latest porn, just so I can know what the hell is going on when I go home with a guy. You know, so if I go home with a guy, you know, he comes out of the bathroom with like a 50 inch dildo and his psychiatrist, you know, I want to be able to say, oh yes, that was from Analytic Ass Masters 2. Yes, we can, we can proceed, we can proceed, I can get done with that. Um, you know, there's, uh, there's more weird stuff. Oh, so, I was watching some Czechoslovakian porn. <laughs> Apparently they're very big on that, um, but their fishing industries must be going to uh, to hell because uh, one of the main things you always see in these uh, Czech porn videos is something called fish hooking. And I was like, fish hooking? I'm like, this I've got to watch. So I'm watching it, and like right there in the middle of the sex scene, like completely out of nowhere, the guy goes up behind the girl, takes his fingers, and spreads them out like there. So I'm like. Oh. Is that sexy? I'm like, so are you walking around like this all the time? Is this, are you, so do you find this attractive? Is that hot? Is that hot? Oh, really? Is that like you know, and I'm thinking like, okay, so the guy, his grandfather was a fisherman, his father was a fisherman. He can't be a fisherman now. The economy's gone down. He's like, okay, I'm going to make pornography, but I'll never forget my heritage. You know, the fish will be it. And, um, yeah, there is a lot of, um, food in pornography, you know, if you watch lately. I'm like, what's, you know, there's no food shortage, okay? i seen, I'm not going to tell you where this stuff ended up, so I'm like, you know. But there's like some milk, can you let your imagination run wild? Uh, I saw a woman baking an apple pie in a really slow way, you know. Um, and, uh, you know, a lot of food, milk, sardines, apples, oranges, squash. And I'm asking myself, where are the porn stars against world hunger? 
you know, with all this extra food, you know, I'm sure they don't use all of it, you know, because I can hear the guy now, you know, the director, you know, ah, you go find me beautiful ladies to fuck, you know, you go find me beautiful locations to do porno film of, you go to the store, we need apples, we need sardines, we need milk, you know, they can't be using all this stuff, you know, why don't they have like porn food donation bins at all sites, you know, <laughs> you know, you know it that stuff. even the guy in Ethiopia would be like, thank you. Where did you say this come from? <laughs> oh, no thanks. <laughs> you know? Okay, I'm full. Um, you know, but I, I think the funniest thing about porn... Okay, ladies. Uh, let's... No, I'm not pointing at you, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna let you off the hook. Uh, ladies, if you have sex with four guys and nobody knows about it, you are just a skank. That's all, you know. <laughs> However, if you have sex with four guys, and you tape it, and you sell it, now you're a star, you know, now you're a star, you know, so I think for every bad thing that you do, you should tape it and sell it, you know? So next time you go to uh, freaking Wendy's and you have like the Baconator, bacon cheese potato, and you some fries and Slurpees, and you go get some more chicken nuggets, and then you, you know, then you go to like, uh, Lee Peter and get some snails, and, you know, you get some, you know, sales of caviar, I don't know, I can't afford to eat there. <laughs> um, so then you gotta take that stuff, you know, instead of someone saying, God, you are a fucking pig, they no, I'm a reality star on the Food TV Network, <laughs> you know, that's, that's one way to get around that. Yeah, I know, porn, uh, more weird stuff in porn, um, well, I didn't, oh, you know, I, yeah, I was never into it before, you know, and a long time ago, I was uh, kicking it with this guy, you know, and it was getting really hot and heavy, you know. I we're fooling around. He's like, oh, baby, you are so hot, you know. I want to give you a cream pie. And I was like, cream pie? Oh. Now, for those of you who don't know, the cream pie is when the guy, like, finishes in the girl. Very sexy in porn. In reality, it's a pregnancy scare, you know, for the rest of us. You know, so he's like, oh, baby, I want to give you a cream pie. And I was like... You want to bake? <laughs> <laughs> I am so touched. Like, you know, I love cream pies, but I really like a chocolate cream pie too. It's really. I could get Tyrone over here right now. I'm like, oh, could you? I'm like, wow, vanilla and a chocolate cream pie. I said, yeah, but you might as well put those both in my ass. You know, <laughs> I got a marriage proposal from that guy. Anyway, my name is Luna. Thank you. Yeah.